In the intimate surroundings of Virginia Wesleyan's Hofheimer Theater, November 22nd, the nine members of the male a cappella group Cantus impressed a knowledgeable audience with their immaculate blend, tight choral sound, and excellent musicianship. Their program, A Place for Us, explored the diversity that makes up this country. Spoken quotes from poets and authors, from Walt Whitman to the Langston Hughes and others, highlighted the meanings behind the songs. They asked, where is home for you? How do you know where you belong? Cantus began with Somewhere, letting Leonard Bernstein's arching melody and Stephen Sondheim's lyrics reach out with longing. One singer stepped forward to speak part of Walt Whitman's O Pioneers. The Finlandia hymn, which appears in many hymnals, had a fresh, clean sound and seamless crescendos. Fiddle tune was very fast, with mesmerizing syncopation and modulations. Think scat meets mouth music. A hand drum, the soft sound of brushed hands, and rhythmic stamping accompanied Lakota Wianki, in which declaration was interspersed with Lakota in soft whispers like ghost voices with superbly tuned dissonances. The singers changed position, sometimes slightly, sometimes more, to ensure the best sound for a particular song. The fascinating and incredibly difficult My Journey Yours by Elise Witt was sung in English, Kurdish, Arabic, Mono, a Liberian language, Amharic, Bosnian, Vietnamese, and Somali. Pairs of singers clamp different patterns with their hands at the same time, simultaneous but separate. Different tunes sometimes overlap, different descants arose. It was amazing. A guitar accompanied the Appalachian folk song Pretty Cero, in which a man can't forget the love who spurned him for his lack of land. From soloists to duets to the whole group, each verse varied. They quoted Margaret Mead, Never doubt that a small group of committed citizens can change the world, which led into the American tune We Shall Not Be Moved, with tenor descants and a full virile sound. The 18th century choral composer William Billings adapted Psalm 137 as anthem, lamentation over Boston, which conveyed the bitterness of memory and its necessity. A wordless hum began the challenging Dave Matthews song Gravedigger, which asks, Gravedigger, make my grave shallow so that I can feel the rain. The measured pace of paradise brought out a different emphasis in the lyric. Inuit chants and heterorhythms formed the basis of Nuk Apiangwak, another challenging work in which three groups of three singers with drums and clapping sang different chants at the same time, increasing the tempo, varying the dynamics and rhythmic variations. It was astonishing, displaying an incredibly high order of musicianship. Hole Mwaimea began as a traditional Hawaiian name chant and evolved into modern harmony. The Mexican folk song El Pajarito Ku was sly fun. Let America Be America Again is a poem by the great poet of the Harlem Renaissance, Langston Hughes. Cantus tenor Paul Rudoy adapted it as America Will Be. The song, beautifully sung, speaks of all who are left out of America's prosperity, yet rings with hope that America will be what it promises. Hall Johnson's Ain't Got Time to Die had wonderful anticipated accents. The shaker tune, Simple Gifts, and a reprise of Somewhere wound up the program. Their encore was Stephen Foster's evocative Hard Times Come Again No More. They omitted one song in the program, Northwest Passage, by the late Canadian folk singer Stan Rogers. It's one of my favorites, but apparently it will be on their next CD. Based in Minneapolis, Cantus has sung all over the country, including appearances on Prairie Home Companion. They will appear at the American Theater on Wednesday, December 4th, singing All is Calm, which recalls the World War won Christmas truce between Allied forces and German soldiers. Performances are at 2.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. They're well worth hearing again. From the other side of the footlights, I'm M.D. Ridge.